Welcome to my realm, located beyond both space and time. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Actually, I think they debate on that last point. Some call me Arceus, and some call me Arceus, but... You know what, it gets the point across. Now I... I wish to know thine appearance. You could have asked me in a, in a less cryptic way, but yes, I am the palest man known to life. Thank you. What is thy name? Um... On the internet, I go by Nyx. Although my friends call me Corby, so I'm just gonna start sticking with that from here on out. Is, thi is this me? All is correct and as it should be. I won't say yes, because I don't know. Cor <laughs> yes, God, can I, can I help you with anything? Soon thou shalt find themselves in a strange world, in a world strange to thee, not in a strange world to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. It's a, it's a big ask, God! Do you know how many Pokemon there are these days? Like, 800 something? Stupid, is what it is. This is what happens? Did I finally die? Is this Pokemon purgatory? Oh, hi, God. How you doing? I said I wasn't. I said I wasn't gonna do this, and yet here I am, playing Legends Arceus for y'all. Do you mind? I'm already awake. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my boy? My boy? Um... Yep, I'm with it. Vaguely. I'm here. I'm alive. I think. You gave me quite a shock falling from the sky like that. I'm sorry, I did what? Did, did, we, did we power drop? Power drop? Pow para drop in? Can't even say it properly. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you and what year is it? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, what in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know where am I. Maybe if you tell me where I am, I might know. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have anywhere... Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? <laughs> nope! So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. You're quite sure you'll be able to survive. I have no idea. Just thank you, ominous wind blowing. I know I'm going to die out here. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Ah, hi, you. Hello, you as well. 
Splish splash. Oh my, I completely forgotten. I just got up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost like as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Yes. How old do you think I am? Five? My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh ho, so you're called Corby. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. I believe it's a town in the south of England. So who goddamn knows? Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. But I see your name anyway. Hello, Laventon. My name is La Laventon. Leventon? I'm gonna go with Laventon, because it kind of sounds like lavender. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon... Up. Oh. Okay, yep, they've had enough. They're done. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon. How must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three! Wait! Well, um... Yeah, okay. So... We, we, we should move in. We should move in. We've got a nice open sky to look at. Um, is there a... Okay, that's center camera. And also, like, cut the frame rate in half. Let's not be an asshole already, Tom. Let's, let's not. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Ah, thank God! My Arceus mobile! I'm gonna flip-flop between Arceus and Arceus, so... I'm gonna annoy at least someone out there. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it changed shape. You can feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared in the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Thanks, God! Reincarnated in another world with my smartphone. <laughs> I've seen this isekai before. Actually, that's a lie. I never watched that show. It just seemed kind of meh to me. <sighs> Alas, yet another miss. Ah, I'm gl glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I have a name. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs by their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to get... I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Oh, I'm very familiar with Rowlet. Rowlet? Rowlet? Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently battle is using its sharp feathers. He's precious and beyond belief. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. irate. <laughs> this is the one I have the least experience with because I famously did not like Gen 2. Yeah, it's so what? Fucking sue me. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating in the water and it can use the... It can battle using this shell-like object on its belly. Splish splish! Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most critical thing, how to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. F Jesus Christ. I didn't think I need 50. Uh, yeah, throw them at Pokemon. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned that there are the, that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. 
So it's not the ball doing that. It's something that all Pokemon can do. That's an interesting tidbit to drop on us. Like it's nothing. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've got no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though, far be it from me to say I, so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Hold down ZR to ready your Pokeball and take aim. You can move around using the right stick. Release ZR. If you're ready the Poke... Okay. So... Okay, that's just like a little dash forward. So... Hello, Cyndaquil. So I do like it. You fucker. There we go. Got him! Once. Hey! Oh, wonderful! You caught a Pokemon! So you have quite a knack for this Pokemon catching business, Corby. Truly useful skills to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. But still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Oh yeah! I forgot, they were violent around these times, aren't they? So, can I like... Do I have a crouch button? It's B. Excellent. Oh, I'm gonna get that Oshawa. I'm gonna get me that Oshawa. <laughs> Beamed him round the head. I can hardly believe it at Corby. Incredible! You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Well, let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? Yeah, I guess we can. Uh, Rowlet! Oh, you're up there. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Metal Gear Pokemon. Now, uh, I was about to say, about to beam Rowlet up the side of the head, and then I realized that Rowlet is kind of like almost all head, isn't he? Excuse me? Ah yes, I'm afraid this can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. I hear that bird off in the distance. Or it sounds like a bird. Then again, it could be a Luxray for all I know. Actually, now that I think about it, I think that is a Luxio cry. A Lux- it's, it is a Shinx. But I don't know which one. That was like, not a very good throw. I'm, I'm glad they're like generous with these ra radiuses. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. Well, they won't listen to anyone yet. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you were come falling. But I must say, Colby, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here, here and now. Do you know anything about this phone? Probably not. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an Arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be... Guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. To compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We we in the field call such a catalogue our Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research, containing all detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to con to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and, may and not many have mastered the skill of using them. If enter you, a 
person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Well, I'm convinced. And whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've got a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort, you out, sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then. Onward to Jubilife Village. Ah, the nostalgia. Although let it be known, Pokemon, you can only do this so many times. Is no one gonna mention this? The freaking dimensional rift in the ceiling. No? Okay. Well, fine. We'll we'll, we'll just roll with it. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for into the village for a bit. Not like he has much of a say, but he does have some great sideburns. Like, holy shit. Man, Jubilife be looking... quaint. Actually kind of nice. It is kind of chill. Although I do need to turn my TV down because the stomping of the grass is quite loud. This way, if you please. Jubilife Village. It's come a long way thanks to the fine people at the Galaxy Exploration Team. The road we're on now is known to the locals as Kana... Kana Love... I don't know. The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's not much to do yet and not m many in it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to step foot outside the village. Now the impressive building up ahead of us is the Galaxy Hall headquarters. I can only read so fast, good sir. Botheration, I've almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recover the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past the bridge here, to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. It's actually a really nice name for a restaurant. <laughs> oh, I've got a text from God! Somehow, it seems to show where you need to go next. Use the minus button to view the map on your ARC phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers. They, yeah, follow the markers. Head into the wallflower which serves at the village canteen. Damn, this is really nice. Actually, kind of quaint. Canala Bridge. Canela? Can Canela? Because I know they have Canelave like town later down the line, which is by my calculations that way. Assuming that this is not. Actually I can check. Yeah, it's this way. <laughs> Hello people, do you judge me? I sh this region is huge and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too. But you came here anyway. How come? Back in my hometown, I got an older brother who's going to inherit the family farm and all. I'm going to make my own way out here in His Hisui. Hisui? Hisui? Oh, okay, this is how I save, I think. I also got some other stuff. I got settings. Hell yeah. Oh, they learned! Tech speed is automatically on fast! ZR confirmation. Choose whether you want to be prompted to... Confirm a throw each time you use ZR. Okay. Uh, adjust the ratio between the loudest and quietest sounds to make it easier to hear. I'm going to leave these on for now. Maybe like crank some of the volume sliders later depending on how I feel. 
I don't need to save yet. Hi, sir. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Yeah, thanks, Bellamy. Damn, this... <laughs> I was just like... I... So, I just giggled because I was like, that's a, gal a Galarian wheezing that that's based on that design. And I'm like, oh yeah! <laughs> Colonialism! <laughs> Why do I think these things? Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower's for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Professor, I'm gonna starve to death out here. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mincemeat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laventon? He's a scholar from a far away place. His Pokemon do get, a, get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take, and had to, take to my bed. But the Professor, well... I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor! But everything will be quite alright now. Kobe has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. <laughs> What's that look of disapproval for? Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. Oh, she... Oh. I'm being allowed. Hi. Me you look like you're allowing it, but you don't want to approve me. Captain Silene! Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. You have the most severe case of resting bitch face I've ever seen. Professor Laventon told me how you'd helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. You're about 10 years off real life, but I guess I am in this game. Quite old enough for you to work for your keep. I hope we can't simply take on a stranger who will wander in among us. The internet has ruined those two words for me. Without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, ho a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then. <laughs> Benny? Benai? I'm gonna go with Benny, just because he's probably gonna rub some people the wrong way. Benny, old chum, the useful potato mochi, if you please, but make it three for today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space time rift? This sounds more and more suspicious the more I hear about it, Laventon, but you know what? We'll roll with it. Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. 
Come now, I'm a scientist. A madder scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I only concern myself with facts. Now, you may already know that many po there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are. In the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job is the survey corps to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sort of wondrous things they can do. That's where Corby will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our, po our re Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We've already had a... We had a hard time enough catching even one wild Pokemon when one wild Pokemon comes after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Hey, look, there's a fine line between fear and stupidity. I'm well past... F <laughs> Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Corby. And think, if you make it in as a galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Even if? Come on, you make me sound like... Actually, never mind. I, I guess I am some sort of alien. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, do you remember that Corby has a trial that passed to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Corby's skills. Let's hope that it's not misplaced. Corby, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use one of our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you on tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Jesus Christ, are we that... Are things that bad out here? Wait, did she say death? I'm like 15! It's quite early to be dying, I'll have you know. Captain Silene's somewhat like a Sui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good th it's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, good night. A rift in the sky, and people falling from it. This world is full of mysteries. I fell out of I where, where is it where come on I know you were in you were just in visual range a moment ago are you behind the galaxy headquarters I can't see the space-time rift which I feel like is something that should be visible no matter where I am but the hell is Mount Coronet that normally is a, a good indicator now I can't see it must be behind one of these tall buildings I guess we go to bed for the time being. <laughs> I look so surprised at everything. Well, this is nice. We'll go ahead in here. Just looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. Good to know. At least I take my shoes off to come inside. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on it to keep debris from falling in. Thank God, we're sensible. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. 
We got like, what is that? Tomatoes. I was about to say, we got what else? We got garlic and my sandals. What the hell? Well, I guess we're taking a sleep. Gonna do a sleep. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in Hisui. To read them at any time, simply press up and then go to the menu. Any tips for members? Don't you wish your toils to be forgotten? Remember to save! Uh, press up on the menu, then press ZR and ZL to go to save. But you auto-save anyway, so unless you softlock the game, you're alright. Cool! Let's take a nap! Duh. Sorry, I saw Bidoof and I'm like, ah, oh, Bidoof. Also, fuck that tree in particular. <laughs>